Hey friends, it's Kristen. For this week's Take and Make, we are going to be doing Shrinky Dink Camp Charms. So make sure to register online for your kit and keep watching the video to learn how to make some of these. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get out your template sheet and your Shrinky Dink material. Now I've given you seven to choose from, but you can only really fit four on a bracelet. So choose the four you like the best. And just position. I'm using a small leftover place, but make sure you leave room on at least one side of extra because it's gonna shrink and you're gonna want to put holes in it to make your charms. You see, you're gonna punch a hole here. It's hard to focus. I forgot here, and you can see the hole didn't go through correctly. So that's why you want to make sure to leave extra at the top. And then you're gonna take out your art supplies. I'm using neon paint markers. You can use whatever you want. Sharpies work well. You can use colored pencils. You can use any kind of marker. And then just color it any way you want. I like to start with the outline. It's always best to start with the darkest color you want to use first because it's hard to mark over. these are so big is because shrinky dinks as you can guess shrink so when you want to make something this size you've got to start with something three times the size of it so you see there we go you got to color something this big in order to get something this big Here's what it looks like after I did a first run, and the best way to check is if you like it is to take this out from under it and see, flip the side, look for the empty spots and fill those in. All right, so that's my finished color shrinky dink. It's okay if it looks a little sloppy. The best thing you can do is turn it over because this is what the other side looks like. Ooh, got a little paint on mine, but this is what it's gonna look like on the other side. So all, you're always going to get one clean side. So the next thing you're going to do is start cutting. Like I said, I'm going to make sure I leave an extra on this side. And start by cutting sort of wide around it. Because it can be a little brittle. 
journal. Now I'm going to go back and cut all the little fiddly bits out of here in just a moment, but while I'm still remembering it, take your stapler. I have a small one so you can see it on camera, but just you want to make sure that you have your holes in there. Yep. So there's my hole. So when that shrinks, it's going to turn into this. And once you have all your charms cut out, you're going to preheat your oven or your toaster oven to 350 degrees and put these on a metal cookie sheet. You can use foil or not, it's all down to you. But you're going to spread these out across your cookie sheet and when the oven's ready, pop them in the oven and between 5 and 10 seconds you'll see these shrink. It's really neat. Um, they're going to curl up at the edges, don't panic if you see it all crunching on itself like that because it unfolds back into these. And if it's not perfectly flat, you can put it in a little bit longer. Like you see this one is a little warpy. But if I put it back in for a little longer, I can kind of push down. Now don't touch these when they come out of the oven because even though they're small, they're still getting very hot. So let them cool completely before you pick them up. Now we're ready to string these up. You can turn these into a bracelet or a necklace or a key ring. What you want to do is take your cord and tie a knot pretty far from the end and slide on whichever charm you want to be first. I'm going to grab this one because it's closest. And just thread it on. see it's going to hit the knot. That's so these don't slide all over the place and get all bunched up together. And once that one's on, you're going to tie another knot right in the front of it. So I just make a loop. Thread around. Whoops. close to this as you can. And there you go. And you can put as many on as one quarter as you want. And here we have our finished camp charm bracelet or lanyard, however you want to do it. So if you'd like to make one of these, make sure to register online for your kit. And I hope you have a great day.